Hey all, and welcome to Real Ale of Britain. Folks, tonight I've got another beer from the Hop King Brewing Company in Reading. Okay, it's their El Campino, it's their American Paleo, coming in at 4.7% ABV. So, there you go. I do love the branding on their bottles. It looks um, very, very good indeed. Uh, so, let's crack this bad boy open and let's see what this beer is like. So again, this one has a nice hiss. The bottle has been in the fridge for about half an hour. Let's go straight in with the pour. So, this beer is pouring with medium carbonation. Okay. And has poured a one finger head, which is pure white in colour. Okay, tightly packed bubbles. The beer itself is a deep uh, orange colour. Um, again, another very, very murky one. Um, uh, and the orange just is a bit of bit of lemon yellow color just at the bottom there all right let's go straight in with the nose okay so the first thing you pick up is that chalky yeastiness some citrus you're picking up very very deep green grass there's a little bit of orange And the sweetness of malt. A little bit of golden syrup under those folks. Let's go straight in. Cheers. <clears throat> okay. So the first thing you're getting is this again another big multi backbone very much like um lager malt being used with some uh crystal 30. Um, there's rich tea biscuits and then what seems to happen is there's this just this massive ball of green it's like freshly cut grass fresh leaves and in the mix lemon rind a bit of lemon juice I'm gonna take a punt here right I think this beer is made with Cascade so Hop King Brewing Company please come back to me and let me know if it is Cascade, what I think has happened is that you have too half a mash temperature for this one, and then and, and that's for the malts. And then what has happened is you have put in overload of hops and maybe possibly have left them too long, which has made the hops go quite grassy. Um because it's actually starting to drink more like an English paleo. That actually would get from Fuggles or from East Kent Goldens. The body on the beer is perfect. Um, but there just doesn't seem to be that balance of hops and malts. And they don't intercept each other. Um, the carbonation wise again which I find very very pleasurable is that it fizzles on the tongue lightly and then completely disappears so it is like drinking cask ale. Um, the beer does have good head retention and there is that nice silkiness um, still marking and lacing on the glass. What's the finish like? The finish is malty with a big big mass of green leaves um, and grass which leads to quite a unpleasant grassy bitterness folks what do I give the Hop King Brewing Company in Reading for their El Campino their American Pale Ale coming in at 4.7% on this bottle folks it's a 4 out of 10 
but I doubt very much that that is how this beer is meant to be. So I would like to get myself more bottles uh, and review it again. But that's really Little Britain doing a review on Hop King Brewing Company's El Campino, coming in at 4.7%. Cheers and Slamacara. <laughs>